Welcome back to Timber Borners. Oh no, I just remembered what happened at the end of the last episode. Hopefully you've had time to mourn. If it slipped your mind, you must be an architect. That didn't rhyme with mourn. Oh well. I feel like I should be mocked more than I am for these. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome back to the Timber Borners. It's season four, episode eight. Blooming out. This season. How have we lasted this long? This is hard mode. If you've ever played Timber Borners before on hard mode, um, it's, it's actually quite hard. Wow. But apparently not for me. Right, so where were we last time? There's a drought in progress. Okay, so why, why have we opened them. Why have we opened the floodgates, Matt? There's blooming. They're not getting it. Oh, Matt, what are you doing? Right, let's hit pause. Let's hit pause. Okay, so these water pumpers, you can see they're trying to suck up water, but their nozzles are above the water, so I may as well pause those three. Pete, 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 Pete. They're all paused. And if we head down... Oh, actually, if we, if we look down here, you can see that's why I let water through, because, yes, we're raising the water level. It's a bit low down here. Okay, sorted. Um, I imagine that's probably enough water coming down, to be honest. What I'm going to do, I'm going to I think I'm going to raise these flood walls. Now, we built this dam last time. So, essentially, I used to store my water up here. But I feel like I may as well store it down here now. Because then that's nice and close. So, yeah, you can see. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, so there's plenty of water in there. And now I'm guessing I want to raise these floodgates. So, I've sort of got like a three a three storage solution thing going on. Nice. Yeah, so, we've got seven days left. We've got... Oh, we got a thousand water. That's pretty good. The old logs are going down. Why are the logs going down? Yeah, I'm guessing because we're cutting and we're not really planting i think actually yeah i built a farm here last time so replacing these cut trees with carrots because the food it was getting dodgy we have seemed to have remedied that already nearly 800 carrots although they're going down rapidly everyone's having a midnight snack over here are you guys snacking on carrots i see you um, but yeah you can see <laughs> oh you can see bottom left plan is over architect was blown up by an explosion because I'll probably set that in to detonate first. So if I like, oh no, oh no, no, plan is over architects. He died. That's what we dug out. And um, that's so the water, when it comes back from here at the end of the dry season, we're trying to, we're sort of trying to make a shortcut. So this beaver here, who's that? Alex five. He's currently building the steps. Oh, it's going up. It's going up swiftly. We should see that pop in now. There you go. Um, I've got, I've got this damn thing. I think I actually want to lower the priority of all of those because I don't want this dam to go in before this one over here because otherwise when the water does come back it will just get will get held up there we don't want it to do that we want it to come down this new channel that we built so I think I'm going to add some more steps in like down that way do a footpath over to that and then we need to see if we click on our engineering district center we can see how far we can build so yeah as I said in the last video we need a new district over here and to be honest I think the district is going to have to go like on here. So I'm going to have to clear some of these trees. Tell you what, the easiest way to do that might be just shove a lumberjack flag there. Put that on super high priority. And then this is going to be where our new district goes. Now we had lots of awesome suggestions for the name. But first I need to make sure we have a lumberjack in there. Now there's currently, there's no workers available. So I'm going to sack one of my builders over in engineering tent. High prioritize this job by clicking that. And then we can see Brave Chris Bernheisel. Uh, he's heading over there to chop some trees down. I have a feeling by the time he gets there, it's going to be the end of his shift because well, it's already the end of the shift now. So we'll see what he actually does. <laughs> he's cutting one tree down. Good work. I mean, it's still it's now dark and he's still he's still chopping it. He's not the fastest worker. He's only seven years old, remember? All right, there you go. He's got the log. So he's going to shove the log on there. And then he's like, oh, it's, it's bedtime for me. So he's going back. Oh, there's actually two other beavers working. So Leaf Peeper and Alex Five, they're still building away. Oh, no, they're building the dam. They're building the dam. I don't want to build the dam yet. Okay, I can, I can pause these. All right, anyway, it's the next morning. So there's Chris once again. I mean, he's he's now thirsty. He, you probably should have had a drink before you came over here, mate. We've got plenty of water. Like, even these little baby beavers, they know what they're doing. Like, who is that? That is baby engineer dropout. I mean, engineering is not for everyone. So don't worry. When you grow up, you will not get shamed for that. I mean, you, you might do. I can't I can't promise anything. Who's currently being shamed again? I am Destructor, man. I don't know why you've ended up in there, mate. <laughs> See, some people, they just, they just live to be shamed. That's what they do. All right, no offense, Chris. I think you're taking a bit too long. I'm actually going to get my builders over here and I'm going to say dig up all of those. All right, so they're all getting to work digging up those trees. That is great because that means as nighttime sets, we can get to build 
the new district center. Ooh. So I can shove that there. And in order to connect this like with the rest of the thing, I need to put a district gate. So let's just delete some paths. And then I'm going to get a district gate and shove that there. So that splits the districts up. So basically this original district, if I click on that, you can see the red line. It goes up to the district gate and no further. And then if I click on this new one, now it's green from there, which means we're going to get down to there and build that easily. Now, but first off, we need to rename the district. District 8 will not do. Now, since this is primarily going to be an explosive area, I'm going to be naming this after a very nice suggestion I got from quite a few of you, actually. We're calling it Boomtown, and the beavers that come over here, they're going to be called Timber Boomers. <laughs> Now, the person that came up with this, I think they probably need the credit to be the first timber boomer. So I'm going to come down to Engineerington and I'm going to click Migrate Population. So if we head over to Boomtown, there should be a beaver in here. Yes, they're called The Road Stopped Here. Congrats, you are the first timber boomer. Ah, oh, look, he's sleeping. I'm really upset, actually. It used to be when you fast forward, you'd see them like proper like working one out, the beavers. <laughs> Uh, they could, I think they got rid of that. Possibly because of my videos. I'm not actually sure. <laughs> like, what a claim to fame that would be, though. Right, anyway. Pause, pause, pause. Because I need to... I need to come over to the distribution post. So this is in Engineerington. Basically, these four guys, they've been delivering goods, you can see down here, to Heavy Metalton. Uh, but I sort of need... Yeah, I think I'm going to need all of these resources over there as well. I mean, thankfully, I'm not actually going to need as much. But uh, if I click that, I can then I can then tell them what to send. So I think first off, some logs. So you can see there, Boomtown logs. I can then set distribution limits. So basically, I can tell them how many logs to bring over. Now, since there's only one worker, over here it's probably only worth having like 10 logs or something or maybe i'll do it i'll do it 20 for now just in case um, but yeah then i'm just going to go back i'm going to add all the other resources so you got carrots we got water and we got planks so they can make stairs and then i've limited them accordingly so there shouldn't be like an excess amount of dock over here right next up i think i need some path over to there ish well actually if i go if i go back one then in order to get up here i can actually i can just build on top of this dam can't i so i'm gonna say put steps there i think i'll do a levee there rather than platforms because that just costs logs rather than planks planks are quite precious and then we just do stairs up to there stairs up to there then path all the way over to there then i think we should be good of course we're gonna have to send dynamite to boomtown as well but i think i want them to build for ah oh, sod it sod it add new route send them explosives all right so then we're good i think this person here are you yeah blue fire wolf they are they work at the distribution post so they're bringing over the first goods so hopefully the road stops here they won't be sat in their ass anymore because they've just got resources yeah look so are they logs yes they're logs so now they're coming with the logs and they're starting to build the dam lovely okay so that is good now this isn't the only project we've got going on if we head over to heavy metalton now these are the people they're mining the scrap metal if you remember oh no they're sat in their ass bugle clown car v dollars why are you both sat in your ass is that because are oh, they're full up of scrap metal hang on hang on so yeah because i can't be asked to go through the hassle of building a distribution post over this side i'm just i'm i'm trying to cheese this so basically when when this small warehouse gets full i'm just deleting the path so it's no longer part of heavy metalton shoving a path on that side and then just saying prioritize and empty storage yeah, but really i should build a distribution post over here and send that back that way anyway the reason we came over this side look the mega super uber duper uber bridge i can't remember what i called it last time either way i'm expecting this to solve a lot of our problems because yeah, basically this should cause all the water to back up like well literally like all the way but yeah all of this should then go green which means i've got more areas to plant i've got more places to take water from so yeah we're just letting that go through and how have i done this i've got damn pieces on top was that wise, Matt? I don't know. I think I sort of worked out if I went any higher than that damn piece. Yeah, everything back here will flood. Okay, so that is sensible, I think. I hope, maybe, potentially. All right, meanwhile, we've got 2.7 days left of this drought. Now, this was a super, super long drought. I don't think we've had one this long. You can see resources. Food is still fine. Waters, I mean, it's pretty low. I'm not going to lie. Now, I've now got three districts to check. So they've got 250. What have you got? you got three water. There's only one of you there, so three is plenty. Heavy metlers, they've got 80 water. I think that's all right for them as well. Now, the trouble is there's nowhere to actually pump water from because uh, our two pumping areas are this one, which is completely dried up. 
And then this one up here, which is, well, you can see it's, our straws aren't long enough. Oh man, that, that was full like a few days ago. Oh dear, oh dear. But yeah, remember we're storing water here now, which means potentially we could actually pump from this area. I mean, particularly once the mega super uber duper uber dam is built. I'm hoping that will give us a lot more pumping options. Yeah, I tell you what as well, I might just to try and make the heavy metalers a bit more efficient. There's loads of trees down here. They're about to be flooded. Like I may as well cut them down, right? Especially when we got these two who still sat on their asses doing nothing. So let's do some levees down there. Steps on top. And then down here where we've got a path, I'm going to shove two lumberjack flags. And then I'm just going to prioritize all this stuff. And then mark all these trees to get cut down. Lovely. I should probably do the same for over this side as well. Sorted. Right. Uh, next up. Oh, it's the first evening of the wet season. Finally. Which means, oh, look up here. we got water coming down our shortcut. Now, it's not going to be a full-on shortcut because water is still heading around. You can see it going around this curve. Now, once this dam is built here, that should stop that, which just means the water will all go this way. Um, water level down here. Oh my goodness. That might be the lowest water level I've ever seen down here. And that's at risk of making everything brown. All of our carrots and stuff could die. So let's let this water out. This is why we have this dam. Oh no, look, everyone's thirsty as well. Right, I sit pause. We're going to have to turn these log pumpers on. I mean, oh, it's actually, it's the middle of the night. Okay, I'll tell you what, night shift. Night shift for everyone. All right, so who are the night shift workers that are going to be pumping their wood well into the night? Trying to beat liquid out of their logs so that the rest of the colony can drink. We've got Wildernick, Miss Dolan, Paradox Chin, and Evilly 24-7. So guys, come on down. Hey, seriously, come on. Like, everyone's everyone's dying. Where are you? Everyone's dying. <laughs> oh, I didn't set the hours to 24-hour work. Oh, man, I'm in it. Well, I mean, to be fair, it's pretty much morning now. How thirsty are I, I, I'm pretty sure... Wait, Beaver will die soon. Okay. <laughs> I mean, thankfully it's morning, so they will they will get to work straight away. Do we have water back up here? Oh, we do. We do. Okay. So again, we'll unpause all of these. So in a little while, we should be producing water there as well. Hopefully that will avert a crisis. Uh, Blooming hell, because uh, this is... This is not good. I don't like seeing everyone thirsty. Beavers should always be wet and never dry. Um, we have had some some news in, which isn't ideal though. Uh, in 2.4 days, there's there's another drought incoming. Uh, yeah, not not ideal that. Uh, meanwhile, back over in Heavy Metalton, I think we can finally pause these metlers over here, and you guys can become lumberjacks, which means all these trees are being cut down. Um, and hopefully that means we can build this dam a little bit quicker as well because we're using our own wood. We don't have to travel all the way over to this thing. Then we just got to keep an eye on this. And once it's empty, I mean, it's still not empty. Yeah, there's 32 scrap metals in there. I think, is that because, oh no, all the warehouses are full over this side. So they don't have anywhere to empty the small warehouse too. I'll tell you what then, we're going to have to build another strongest warehouse to boosh. And then hopefully the trees we cut by then so we can put these guys back on the scrap metal. How's this dam? I'm getting on over here. I mean, it's all right. Why are you sat on your ass? They got no resources. They need more logs. I mean, it's quite annoying because there's literally, there's logs there. Well, and look, there's all these logs there. I tell you what, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Hang on. If I delete that path and then I shove my district gate there, come over to this district gate, delete that and just make that a path. Then I think I've just, oh, I'm a genius. I've just given 82 logs to Boomtown. Uh, sadly, I don't think we're going to be able to build that in time because we've got 0.4 days. Oh, Oh, and over here, look. Oh, we have, we've caused, we've caused mass flooding. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not, it's not actually end of the world that this is flooding. It's not causing any damage. Technically, we're just storing some extra water. So I might just leave that like that. All right, so let's fast forward through the night. And as the sun rises, you can see the drought has started. Uh, we've only got 13 days this dry season. I think the last one was 16. So we'll welcome a 13 day drought. That should be pretty good for the colony. Uh, why have you guys stopped working? V dollars, bugle, clown car. They are, they are masters of sitting on their ass. I... <laughs> That's all they do wherever they work. I assume that's because the logs, yeah, the logs are filled up. But yeah, probably worth just pausing these guys for now then. And then if I make everyone a hauler over this side. And there we go. They're all getting to work now. And they're using up the logs way quicker. All right, meanwhile down here you can see we've we've pumped that out. So time to pause these four log pumpers. Um, I'm actually, I'm a little bit worried. Like on the waterfront, we've only got 500 water. I know we've got these four pumping up here, but is that enough? It might be worth doing like a tiered water pumping station over here. So if I were to build like more pumpers like at a lower level... 
They will be flooded most of the time, but once these ones are finished lowering the water level, then I can just use the lower down ones. So double platform, I assume that's probably the level that I want. So yeah, what I'm thinking, if I do stairs down to there, then I can just do my platforms like that, right? All right, and then that's what they're building underwater. So if I press escape, you can see, oh man. <laughs> that water's so like deep and dark, it's scary. But yeah, that will just give our beavers um, a second a second chance at pumping this area. Decent. Right, this is looking good. So let's check on our two dams. We've got up here. Oh, that one's getting there. That one is getting there. Fair play. Um, so does does Boomtown, do they have explosives? Yeah, they got 15 explosives. So yeah, quite intrigued to see how this all works once the once the dry season's over. We've got six days remaining. All right, so 1.5 days are remaining of the dry out. I did actually notice I built the strongest sheep <laughs> down there. Look at that. Uh, no wonder they cut those down so efficiently. The super uber duper mega uber dam. They're, they're getting on pretty well to be fair. Um, pretty impressive. I think once those trees are done though, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause both of those. Wow, I sounded really posh when I said those. Yeah, and then I'll get these guys back on the scrap metal because they are meant to be heavy metal turn. Uh, yeah, meanwhile over here I can see the water level because I can see those brown rings. That sounds weird. Uh, uh, that means the water level is low. So I'm going to come to this dam and just let out a little bit of water. So we'll go down to one. So we'll just top that up a little bit. That'll probably do. Let's raise that back up. Nice. Oh, look, they're building by swimming. So yeah, this project well underway. Um, doesn't look like we're actually going to need it. We've only got one day left and there's still plenty of water being pumped by those four. So yeah, and also up this way, the uh, this dam's nearly done. Uh, so that will just save like all of this being filled up, uh, which is sort of why I wanted this dam here. So if I just unpause these four. Right, nice. Oh, you can see how this is working now. So this dam, that means the water has come around the spiral all the way to here, like already. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Whoa, okay, I just realized I don't I don't want these to be I don't want these to be built yet. Well, that was close because if I put this dam in, you can see the water comes from there, goes round. That would just flood over here and then well, I don't want flooding. I'm trying to do this professionally like an engineer. I only want to finish this little dam once all these bits of explosive are in. Because uh, then the water's got the shortcut so it doesn't go all the way around. Oh, no, it is flooding. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I'm such an architect sometimes. Such an architect. Anyway, let's get these pumpers back going. Oh, look down here. The super, super, mega, uber dam started flooding stuff. I should probably just delete these now. Because uh, I feel like the symbol for it being flooded is just going to annoy me. So, yeah, no more wood down there. Uh, we can unpause the, the scrap metal. So now everyone's going to go do those. So, oh, and another dry season, 2.9 days. Game, it's just constant dry seasons. <laughs> Oh, hard mode's so hard. Thankfully, I do feel like I'm under control, to be fair. Uh, oh, and if we look over here, you can see this is all done. Oh, man, they're proper swimming deep underwater. <laughs> it's like Jaws or something. Yeah, you can see they're now coming out the water, and I assume that's a box of explosives, which, are they water resistant, or are they now ruined? Anyway, fair play. Very, very brave, because I have the ability to detonate these whenever. And we all know how that ended last episode. Don't worry, though. Now I know how these work. I will not accidentally detonate I hope. Um, I am thinking though, this seems, I might have to widen this, but like, the water's pretty on the limit. Like it is flooding out a few spaces. And the idea is I want to get it down as quick as possible. So yeah, what I might do, if we just put some like temporary platforms in. Nice. You can see, you can see the water level. It's so high. So yeah, we've definitely got to do this. They're destroying those trees now, ripping them all up, planting dynamite as well. Oh, and then I, pro I probably want to do the same up here as well. So yeah, let's make this wider. All right. So yeah, the drought has started now. Uh, we're up to 800 ish water so yeah that's that's all right like food absolutely fine water pretty good oh it's the 23 day drought <laughs> oh that's a big one that is a big one so yeah right looks like this dynamite is ready to blow i think since it's night time let's uh let's keep some beavers up by going Boosh! oh god god <laughs> I thought that bee was going to walk into it. All right, so that's down. I may as well unpause those as well. Get them built. I'll tell you what I'd love as well. If we can get this dam done by the end of the of the dry season. 20, 22 days to go. I think that's definitely going to happen. But uh, then I think we fix everything. We can survive any amount of dry season, sort of. I know I'm sounding a little bit cocky, but uh, it's not cockiness. It's just it's just confidence. 12 seconds later. Ah, panic, panic, panic. I left, I left, ah. Uh, I left everything running so the carrots, they're, they're drying out and will die 1.4 days. 
Uh, thankfully, we've got this. So let's just let water out there. Oh, man, you idiot, Matt. Pay attention. Pay attention. Uh, 14 days left of the drought, by the way. But yeah, okay, that's that's crisis averted down here. Meanwhile, up here, the dam is nearly completed up there. So I reckon a celebratory. Boosh. Yes. So assuming we finish this dam, which I think we're definitely going to, uh, we got we got 14 days pretty much. So when that water comes back, basically if I zoom like way out, rather than the water going all the way around there, uh, we'll just come along this shortcut because we've dammed it. And then we've got two dams either side, so the water will just come along this shortcut and then it will store all of this up and then all down here will be stored by that and then how's the mega dam getting on or oh, it's nearly there it is nearly there so i reckon by the end of this dry season perhaps that super super mega dam will be done and then i think we're pretty much guaranteed to survive forever so the question is do i do i continue this season do i try and unlock like the golems and stuff we haven't really looked at them they're like they're so expensive you need like super treated logs loads of science and all sorts for this now it allows you to terraform which is cool but i feel like I mean, now i've got my dams in and stuff i don't actually i don't need to terraform do i or do i i don't know the alternative is we we start a new season because i've cracked hard mode i want i want i want a new challenge essentially um, and i've got just the thing in mind it's gonna be it's gonna be different it's just when do we decide to start that do we finish this season until i die or are we convinced that i've like i've mastered this now uh, let me know in the comments what should we do but uh, i think for now i'll say peace love and super uber mega uber dams bye guys